It's rare that movies get me this fired up, so let's talk about Morbius. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you my spoiler filled thoughts, mainly on the post credit scenes for Morbius, but also some minor details in the story itself. So if you have not seen Morbius and you want to maintain spoiler free, make sure to leave a like and then come back and watch this video after you've seen the movie. And if you just don't care about spoilers, welcome to the video. But before I get into my thoughts, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below your spoiler filled thoughts or expectations for Morbius if you don't care, and make sure to subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss out any future spoiler reviews for big movies like this one. I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and talk about the post credit scene first. This post credit scene, or two I should say, absolutely infuriated me, and here is why. So first of all, the movie ends so abruptly as we get this final battle between Morbius and the villain, and he literally flies off into the sky and the movie cuts to black. There should have been like 10 more minutes to give us a little more clarity. That wasn't the case, it's whatever, I moved on. We got the credits, and then we get the first post credit scene and it's a nighttime sky. It looks exactly like near the end of No Way Home when all the people are starting to come from different universes into our MCU universe, such as Kraven, Rhino, and other villains. And for whatever reason, we cut to an empty prison cell and Michael Keaton's vulture appears. Just like how the villains fade away back into their universes, he looks the exact same way. He has no clue where he is and he says, well, hopefully the food's better in this joint. And then they just let him out because no one knows who he is. He says his name's Adrian Toomes. They show a news broadcast and he's like, yeah, don't know how I got here, just mysteriously appeared in this universe. Well, we don't know how the hell you got there either because it absolutely disregards the rules of that spell. Within the context of the MCU, it makes zero sense at all. Sony basically took one of the best MCU villains who could have had a role in future Spider-Man films and sent them over to the Sony-verse, which makes no sense. And what's further infuriating is the second post credit scene. So we see Morbius driving late at night and he parks somewhere out in the desert. And then we see Vulture fly up in his wingsuit, which by the way, makes no sense that he had it unless he constructed it identically in the amount of time that he's been in this universe because again, he came from another universe. He didn't have his wingsuit, he just had his prison jumpsuit. And he flies up, I don't even think Michael Keaton was in the suit, I think that it was literally just him doing voice work. And he's talking to Morbius about, you know, I have no clue who I got here, but I've been reading about you, Morbius. And he says, this might have something to do with Spider-Man, which doesn't really make any sense because he doesn't rat out Spider-Man in the post credit scene of Homecoming when he's talking to Scorpion in the prison cell. So why would he really have beef with Spider-Man? I don't know. But Vulture says a line that's really important. He says, well, we should probably assemble a team like us to fight him. Basically hinting at the assembling of the Sinister Six, which no one asked for. And if you're gonna do the Sinister Six, do it in the MCU with villains that actually mean something. Like Vulture in the MCU in a Sinister Six with Scorpion and other villains I can get behind. Maybe Mysterio's still alive. That's fine by me. But bring Morbius, a character whose movie is going to underperform so much that he's probably never gonna get another sequel, is infuriating. This feels a lot like the end of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 when they set up the Sinister Six and we never saw it. This could just be round two of that and we I'll be getting deja vu. The post credit scenes are the most talk of the town we're gonna get with this movie because everything else is so lackluster and bland. These post credit scenes really infuriated me and it makes zero sense. I almost think there should be a lawsuit involved with Kevin Feige because it's that bad. It's egregious that what, for whatever reason, they took Michael Keaton's Vulture from the MCU, put him in the Sony-verse where they're supposedly fighting a Spider-Man when no Spider-Man is known to exist in this universe. So why would he say we're gonna fight Spider-Man unless they can find a way to hop over to the MCU? But that's all I have to say about the post credit scenes. I have to give credit to the actual credits themselves for looking pretty cool from a visual perspective, but when it comes to the movie, I'm gonna give you guys like a two, three minute spoiler breakdown because it's just not really worth my breath. But you can tell what's gonna happen from the start, how he's going to become Morbius by obviously injecting himself with some blood from a bat. And then you've got his childhood best friend who grows up to be having the same disease as him. And once Morbius finds a cure and realizes it goes ill and makes him this beast, he doesn't wanna give it to his friend. So his friend gets jealous and takes it anyway. And he ends up being a replica of Morbius, having this vampirism and the same exact powers as Morbius. Of course, jealousy ensues. The one friend goes on a kill spree, ends up killing people, and Morbius looks like he's getting framed for it in the public eye. When in actuality, it's his friend doing it. What does this lead to? A final confrontation with terrible CGI and bland ass visuals. Nothing really to write home about. There's a love interest character that dies and then of course wakes up at the end. A lot like in Venom, Let There Be Carnage, when the Daily Bugle worker ends up being a villain at the end. It's all stupid set up for something we're probably never gonna see. And there's a mentor figure in Jared Harris who ends up getting killed and conveniently stays alive for like 30 minutes until Morbius arrives and dies right when he gets there. So like, this is the most arguably predictable superhero movie of all time. There's really nothing remarkable about it at all. And I just explained the entire movie in like, maybe a minute, maybe. Again, the post credit scenes are gonna be the talk of the town. 
I have nothing else to really say about Morbius. The dialogue's awful. I have a full, like, non-spoiler review if you want to see my more succinct thoughts, but I've already explained the whole movie to you. There's a moment where the villain in this movie is dancing. It's so cringy. This entire movie is unremarkable. And I'm still shocked at the ending of the movie. Like, there's a final battle, and, like, all the cops converge on the final battle, and Morbius flies out with, like, a battalion of bats into the sky, and then the movie just cuts to black. It was an extremely jarring and abrupt ending because there should have been more clarity for character arcs, but there really was no arc for this overall movie and the plot was so one note and strung together. It's it's unfortunate that this movie does exist. But that's pretty much gonna do it for my rant on Morbius. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know what you think down below. Those post credit scenes were terrible. I really wanna talk about that in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to that notification bell. I'm trying to make the push for 7K subs. I'm also doing a Blu-ray bundle giveaway if you become a Patreon member now until April 10th. You can win five Blu-rays and also get a one-on-one -on -one call with me. That is linked down below, and there's a little bit more information on my community tab, so make sure to check that out if you want to become a Patreon member. But thank you guys again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>